Welcome to Folsom, California, with the American River, the Rolling Hills, the historic Old Town District, and the upscale residential communities. My name is Carla Shryak, and I'm with Gold Group Realty, and I would like to welcome you to my YouTube channel, where I discuss the very best places to live in the greater Sacramento area. So without wasting any more time, let's dive right in. was founded during the California Gold Rush. You know, there are prospectors and adventurers from all over the world who either passed through or settled in Folsom looking for fortune in the mid-1850s. You can still see some of that rich history in the Old Town District where I'm standing today, but you know Folsom has really grown from the older neighborhoods to the more modern housing developments. Let's go take a look at some of those right now. So if you look at the map, you'll see the most popular neighborhoods in Folsom. There's historic Folsom with a lot of the older homes. There's a Broadstone with its modern living conveniences. And there's Willow Creek Estates, which is where I'm standing today that has a very peaceful atmosphere. There's also American River Canyon, Empire Ranch, and Natoma Station. The na different neighborhoods cater to various preferences, such as Prairie Oaks is more family oriented. Then there's upscale Empire Ranch. But whatever neighborhood it is, they all contribute to Folsom's charm and appeal for living and exploring. So there's a major neighborhoods in Folsom for thinking of moving to this beautiful city. Well, let's take a look at the real estate market in Folsom. The average list price in March of 2024 was $1,000,000 compared to $962,000 in March of 2023. And the average sold price in March of 2024 was $807,000 compared to $742,000 last year. So the housing market in Folsom is dynamic with varying trends across the different neighborhoods. And did you know that Folsom plans to build thousands of new homes by 2029? So in the next five years, we have a lot more homes being built right here in Folsom. As for the broader California real estate market trends for 2024, home price growth is expected to slow down after rapid appreciation in the previous years, for which I am thankful because affordability is still a major challenge across the state due to high median home prices compared to national averages and lower incomes. So moving on, let's talk about transportation. So Folsom is in Sacramento County, and so it's served by the Sacramento Regional Transit District's public transportation system. So um, we're at the bus station. You can see the buses right behind me. And we're at the light rail station also, which is right over here. And the bus services have routes like 30, 31, 32, and 71, which connect people to some of the outlying cities of Folsom, such as Auburn and Sacramento. The light rail system connects people to Sacramento and some stops along the way. You know, they also have Uber and Lyft here if you need some convenient on-demand transportation. The city of Folsom also designed the city to encourage walking and bicycling and carpooling and public transportation. There are bike trails everywhere that will take you wherever you need to go across the city. Folsom is also part of a regional effort to build a 34 mile expressway just south of Highway 50, which will also have a parallel pedestrian and bicyclist trail, which will be fantastic. It's supposed to help relieve congestion along Highway 50 and help people get to work a lot faster. So I thought I'd share with you a little bit about about Folsom's educational system. According to niche.com, they have an A-plus rating for their school system, but that is really good. And they also have a student-teacher ratio of 22 to one. That is excellent. I've been in schools where it's been 35 to one, so that is really good. According to state test scores, 52% of the students are proficient in math and 63% of them are proficient in reading. Folsom offers a variety of educational programs such as advanced placement courses, career and technical educational programs, and special ed. And they have a commitment to excellence in their academic system. And it's evident in their top rated schools. You know, Folsom High School's jazz band has been rated the number one big band in the nation, according to Downbeat Magazine multiple times. That is really good. In fact, Folsom's educational system has been recognized nationally for its quality. Music Magazine has listed both of Folsom's high schools as the, some of the top high schools in the nation for math, technology, science, and engineering. With top rated schools such as Vista Del Lago High School and Folsom High School, families can be confident that their children receive quality education in Folsom. 
So property taxes play a significant role in local revenue generation in Folsom. With the average property tax rate of 1.31%, homeowners paid an average of $5,909 in 2023, which is slightly higher than the county average of $3,939. Property tax rate is based on the assessed value of the property and not the market value, which can be different. So summers in Folsom are generally warm, with the temperatures ranging from the mid-60s at night all the way up into the mid-90s during the day. There are occasional heat waves in the hundreds, but there's plenty to do around here to cool off. There's Folsom Lake and there's the Roseville Water Slide Park. And then in the winter months, the rainfall usually comes between November and April, the occasional thunderstorms. The temperatures range in the winter months between the 40s at night and the 60s during the day. So it's plenty comfortable enough to go outside and go to some community events or do some outdoor activities. Well, shopping areas and entertainment options are numerous in Folsom. The first one I'm gonna tell you about is the Palladio. It was named after the famous Italian architect, Andre Palladio, and has an amazing outdoor shopping experience with a picturesque setting. They have retail stores here, restaurants, and entertainment venues. So it can actually be a one-stop destination for shopping, dining, and leisurely activities. It's definitely a favorite among the locals and tourists alike. Well, now I'm gonna share with you the bonus tip that I promised you if you stayed to the end of the video. I'm gonna share some amazing places to eat right here in Folsom. And one of them is the upscale eatery right behind me called Land Ocean. It is known for its wood-fired rotisserie in an intimate setting. But there's also Chicago Fire, known for its authentic Chicago-style pizzas and its hand-breaded buffalo wings. We also have ethnic gyms here in Folsom, such as Sanskrit New Age Indian food, Zest Mediterranean Kitchen, and Folsom Thai, which is absolutely delicious. You have a lot of ethnic options right here in Folsom. Well, I hope you know a lot more about Folsom than you knew before after watching this video. And if you have any questions about Folsom or the surrounding areas, please reach out to me. I'd be happy to answer any questions. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button so I know you liked it. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on my social platforms. And until then, I will see you around town.